On the morning of Valentine's Day 1972, Mrs Perry was waiting at Linfield Railway Station in Sydney to catch her train. Without warning, she suffered an epileptic seizure which caused her to lose consciousness and to fall from the platform onto the tracks. At the same time, a train was approaching. A Mr O'Donnell saw the train and ran towards it, waving his arms and briefcase to try to get the train to stop, but to no avail. The driver initially thought that Mrs Perry was just waste paper on the track, and by the time he realised it was a person and applied the emergency brakes, it was too late. She was seriously injured. One question before the court was the exact status of Mrs Perry at the time she was struck. Clearly passengers are invited onto the railway property in order to catch their train, but their invitation is limited. People are specifically required to stay off the tracks. Was she then a trespasser when she fell onto the tracks? And did this make any difference? The judges went in a few different directions, but the majority view was that even if she was a trespasser, the railways still had a duty of care towards her. You can't just run people over with your train because they're trespassing. Justice Gibbs' judgment has become the best-known judgment in this case. In it, he said... In the present case, the respondent was making a reasonable and proper use of part of the railway premises, where she was entitled to be. She was standing upon the platform, waiting for the train to arrive. Her involuntary fall onto another part of the premises in the occupation of the appellant did not make her a trespasser. It did not exempt the appellant from its duty to take reasonable care for her safety. In other words, she would only have become a trespasser if her conduct had been voluntary. If her conduct was involuntary, then she was not trespassing, and she was owed the full duty of care that any person has to another person on their property. From this case, we draw the wider principle that trespass is an intentional tort, and it can only be committed if the conduct which forms the trespass is intentional. Mm -hmm.